Yeah, no, no, no. You you hit it, Doc, because one, one of the problems with the church is that we've become so artificial and and all and all of the all of the you know the the the, the extra things about that make worship possible in this modern church experience. But we've lost the fundamental the fundamental things that make religion valuable and meaningful is that is that direct connection to the creator. Um, th there's an image in the book of Mark since, you know, it's just me and you on here. <laughs> there's, there's an image in the book of Mark in Mark chapter four of the sleeping Jesus. He's on the boat. They're in the storm and he is sleeping. The disciples yeah. are freaking out and he's sleeping. And I, 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 I thought about this last night. We need the image and, and the mental picture of a sleeping Jesus. I need a God who will who will be sleep and can and can find rest. When I'm on the boat freaking out, he's completely unfazed and unmoved. I, I'm going to go a step further, Dr. Sean. I'm going to let you have the sleep in Jesus. <laughs> I want to be the one that wakes him up. Shut up. I, 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 Shut I gotta up. I wake him up and say, do you even care about what it is that I'm going through? <laughs> the, the fact uh, that all of these kids are closed out of school, 200 universities are shut down. You can't even go in McDonald's. Do you even care? that a lot of those who have mental health challenges won't be able to see their therapist and will have to wrestle with aloneness? Do you even care that the United States Congress and Senate were in utter denial and could have stopped them? Yes, uh, yes. So, uh, I'm going to let you let them sleep, but I'm here to be on the wake-up committee. Well, well not, uh, I, I'll see you a point and raise you a point. Let me tell you why the sleeping Jesus is so valuable. It's valuable because we need to know that there is somebody on the boat who's not as crazy as we are. That there's wow. somebody on the boat who's not given to the fanaticism, to the anxiety and the fear that we're giving to. I need a God who can go to sleep in a storm so that, so that, so that when I do wake him up, I'm secure in the fact that he's got the power to handle what I'm going through. I'm a firm believer that nobody can curse what God has already blessed. If you bless, that's it. It's going to happen. So I need him sleep. You want to wake him up. Now, absolutely. <laughs> we, we, we'll, we'll meet somewhere in the middle. You, you, know, you know what's interesting about that, and I, I, think, I think that in both cases, you know, as you and I go back and forth, just about the importance and the role of having a theology or, or having a fundamental uh, construction of God. That, that's really what we're talking about, is that when you yeah. get in trouble, when things go wrong, you need to have something that's transcendent, something that roots you and grounds you and, and grabs you, if, if you will, uh, in, in the midst of the storm. And there's so many people who use social media, who use uh, uh, affirmation by people, and they're discovering that those things are not sufficient when you really get in trouble. Oh, no, not at all. This, this is separating the proverbial chair from the wheat. You're going to find out what you can really live without. Mm. and find out what is unnecessary and find out what is excessive, that we have bantered uh, about being blessed when the reality is many of us are being spoiled. That's good, uh, doctor. And I just talked about we're the only people in the world who claim poverty while having cable. We're the only people <laughs> in the world who can be broke that part. and gain weight at the same time. That part right there. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing, man. We, we are, and, and, and here's the thing about it. I'm going to talk about this later on in the show. Is that the only thing they've asked us to do, wait for it, is to stay home. That's it. Yeah, yeah that, that, that sounds good. But when you look at, Dr. Sean, uh, the fact that you're asking them to stay home uh, when you've got 10 major companies who have vowed they're not going to pay for leave. So you've got McDonald's, Walmart, Kroger, Subway, Burger King, Pizza Hut, Target, Marriott Hotels, Wendy's. They're going to send them home. But in these four, six, eight weeks, look at how many people will not receive a paycheck. Yeah. And what will that mean? So it's not just stay home. It's stay home and don't get paid. 